My name is John Way. I work here at the uh, Tackle Shop in Ennis, Montana, the uh, oldest fly shop in the state of Montana. We are going to tie today a uh, Squala Nomura dry fly that's made out of foam. It's kind of a, a, uh, a personal pattern of mine that, that we have in the store now, but it works really good for the spring stone flies. We tie this on a light wire size 12 hook. And this is a Montana Fly brand, but any, any brand of 2X long light wire size 12 will work. Okay, start your thread. And cover your hook completely with thread. Stopping just above the barb. Now, take your, your quarter inch uh, two-sided foam and make a little slit down the center and this is two layers of craft foam a tan and a black just glued together and then cut into strips and these strips are about an inch wide maybe a little less than an inch and we tend to cut that in half so you want between a quarter and a half inch wide strip to start take your foam and kind of sandwich it right onto the onto the hook Okay, once it's on the hook, go ahead and just tie in your first segment, just like that. Mm -hmm. Now, go back and tie in your extended body segment. Just like that. Now, trim this. Lift up your foam, move your thread forward, then sandwich your foam back down, and make another segment. Do it again, lift up your foam, move your thread forward, push your foam back down on the hook, and make your last segment of the body. Just like that. All right. Now lift up your foam and you're going to want to cut this as close to that last segment as possible. So lift it up, put your, cut it just like that. Now go ahead and take your thread and just bind this down to the hook. Just like that. Now we make the bullet head with widow's web and I like this smoke colored widow's web, the dark gray. Go ahead and pull off a good pinch of it. Remember when you're using this to always trim it here next to where it's tied on. Now you have a, a big full piece to use. Trim it so all your ends are the same. Go ahead and tie it on. Just like that. And go ahead and trim this end. Just like that. Now, to create your bullet head, you pull your widow's whip back and tie the head off. Just like that. Cut your wing slightly longer than the body. The next piece is the legs. I like to use these uh, silicone legs just like this. So cut off a section of leg. What I usually do is fold it in half and cut it. Just like that. So you have two sets of legs. Set your rubber legs on top. One, two, three wraps. Pull two that way. Pull two that way. Now you have a nice X on your legs. The last thing is the indicator on top. And for that I use uh, craft foam again, but in a bright color. 
I like this yellow, it shows up really well, especially in low light. Go ahead and take a little slice of that and tie that in. Trim that off. Just like that. Whip finish it and you're done. And remember to glue it. These are super useful for uh, the spring stoneflies. We use them a lot for both the squala and the mora. The squala is a little bit larger and has a olive to uh, dusky body to it. And the nomura is smaller and with a black body. And this works good for both of those. We also tie this with the foam switched around with the tan foam on the bottom. And that works great for the yellow sallies and golden stones of summer.